In 2010, Connect transformed the way we play by turning voice and movement into magic. And the experience of being able to just reach out into space and play made us realize just how confining living life through flat, three-dimensional screens really is. It drove us to find a way to bring the digital experience into our physical world. It drove us to create Microsoft HoloLens, the first holographic computer. In 2016, HoloLens started the mixed reality revolution. And over the last three years, individual developers, large enterprises, and brand new startups have been dreaming up beautiful things, helpful things, inspired things. These mixed reality experiences have been used by hundreds of thousands of people, changing the way we work, communicate, learn, and play. Which leads us to today, the next chapter in our journey. I'm extremely proud to introduce to all of you HoloLens 2. With HoloLens 2, we once again set the high watermark for mixed, re mixed reality and for intelligence on the edge of computing. We have been listening to your feedback, and you have been asking us consistently for three things. First, you have been asking us for more immersion so that you can see more of the holographic landscape. Second, you have been asking us for more comfort so that you can stay immersed for longer periods of time. Third, you have been asking for industry-leading value right out of the box so that you can start instantly with mixed reality solutions designed for the modern workplace. So let's start today by talking about immersion. HoloLens 1 is the only headset in the industry capable of displaying 47 pixels per degree of sight. And today, I'm incredibly proud to announce that with HoloLens 2, we more than doubled our field of view while maintaining 47 pixels per degree of sight on HoloLens. Now, no such technology exists in the world. So in the same way we had to invent time of flight sensors for Kinect, waveguides for HoloLens, and a holographic processing unit for AI inferencing on the edge, with HoloLens 2, we invented an industry-defining MEMS display. Now, these are the smallest and most power-efficient 2K displays in existence. Now, they allow us to dramatically grow immersion while shrinking the size of the displays. But immersion is about more than just the holograms we place in the world. Immersion is also about how you interact with them. HoloLens 2 adapts to you. It adapts to your hands and goes beyond the gestures to give you the satisfaction of direct manipulation, letting you experience what it feels like for the first time to actually touch a hologram. To top it off, HoloLens 2 now also understands precisely where you are looking, enabling us to do things like understanding your intent and adapting the holograms in real time to your eyes. Then using the same cameras, we've enabled Windows Hello, iris-based biometric authentication, the most secure and reliable enterprise-grade solution. So to complement immersion, let's talk about comfort. We optimized HoloLens 2 for long wear and comfort. Keeping with Microsoft's tradition of inclusive design, we 3D scans the heads of thousands of people across a wide range of ages, genders, and ethnicities. And we then use this data to create a device that once again sets the highest bar for both ergonomics as well as comfort. HoloLens 2 has a universal fit system that works on the broadest and most diverse range of people, whether you wear glasses or not. Putting it on should be as simple as putting on your favorite hat. We reduce the weight of HoloLens 2 by making the front enclosure entirely out of carbon fiber making it light and durable in a device that is ready for the modern workplace. And we also fundamentally change how that weight is distributed, making you feel as if the device is floating on your head. HoloLens 2 sets a new standard for comfort in mixed reality headsets. With Windows Hello and RS Syndication, the HoloLens 2 is actually signing me in as I put on my device. Now, not only does the HoloLens 2 recognize me, it also recognizes my hands. Look at this, fully articulated hand tracking. It also recognizes the world. 
welcome to my mixed reality home. This is the place where I have all the apps and content that I use every day. I've seen many people put on HoloLens for the first time, and the first thing people do when they put on the device is they reach out their hands and try and touch the holograms. And now you can. I can just grab this corner to resize it, or I can rotate it, or move it. I've got a browser over there, but it's kind of far away, and I don't really want to walk over there, so let me just call it over with my voice. Follow me. So now we're actually exiting my mixed reality home and going into an immersive experience. But notice that that browser that I had actually followed me in. Now this can actually be really useful when you have things like emails or PDFs that you need to reference while you're doing your work. We spent years exploring and refining interactions for HoloLens 2. The interaction that really took home the cake, though, was this pinch slider. The way that works is you just pinch it and move it wherever you want. And what we found was that people really liked that tactile sensation of their fingers touching as they grabbed and then released. How do you press buttons on HoloLens 2? Well, you just reach out and press them. How about something that uses all 10 fingers? Well, to test that out, we built a piano. HoloLens 2 has eye tracking. So I could just look over to this browser here and look at the bottom of the screen to scroll it, and then send my message. Start dictation. The hummingbird looks great, exclamation mark. Send. Today, it can take between three to six months before mixed reality creates value for an enterprise. Now, this is because code needs to be written before you can unlock business value within an industry. With HoloLens 2, we wanted to provide organizations across multiple industries immediate time to value. Today, I am proud to announce that with HoloLens 2, we will launch with a suite of solutions from Microsoft and a so suite of solutions from our amazing industry partners. Solutions ranging from healthcare to architecture to manufacturing and many, many more. Last year, we launched the first two mixed reality solutions for Dynamics 365, Remote Assist and Layout. And since then, first-line workers around the globe are solving problems more quickly in all of their daily operations. And today, we are launching a brand new Dynamics 365 solution for mixed reality, Dynamics 365 Guides. Now, Guides was designed to help fill the pending skills gap by enabling business processes to be mined and workplace wisdom to be preserved. Guides will help workers get up to speed faster on difficult tasks by placing step-by-step -step instructions right where the work is happening. Imagine transforming any room into an infinite workplace. And to show us true collaborative computing on HoloLens 2, please help me welcome on stage co-founder and CEO of Spatial and a very good friend, Anand. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Anand. Hey, everyone. It's great to be here on stage holographically. I can see your lifelike avatar, which we generate in seconds from a 2D photo, and we can walk around the stage with spatial audio and use this whole space around us to collaborate as if we're all here together in the same room. Let's invite Sven Gurgitz, CTO of the iconic toy brand Mattel, onto the stage. When we're developing toys like this Rescue Hero Fires truck here, we're able to pin up dynamic content on virtual walls, like this PowerPoint, for instance or videos, or even concept art. So I can pull out my spatial phone app and write a quick note, and then just hit send. And it becomes a digital sticky note, which I can just grab and stick right onto the fire truck so that we can have engineering revise this later. OK, guys, let's come up with uh, some ideas for a line of aquatic toys. Yeah, how about? Sea turtles. Let's try sharks. How about jellyfish? So all we have to do is say the words, and they're instantly visualized right before our eyes. You can even click into one of these bundles, and they expand into a full-blown internet search, complete with 3D models, images, and web pages. I can actually pull up these sketches I did on my phone last night using that same spatial app and they're instantly transformed into this digital environment. So let me select all of these, and let's make a grid. 
This goes to the wall. Now, this entire room we've created is a persistent digital object that anyone can access or contribute to at any time, whether they're using an AR or VR headset or even a PC or mobile phone. We have seen HoloLens get used in a variety of different environments. Now, in many of these environments, HoloLens has been modified by our customers to fit their specific needs. But these take significant time, and the results aren't always as comfortable or as immersive as we would like. And today, I am proud to announce the HoloLens Customization Program, a program that will allow our parts partners to customize HoloLens 2 to meet all of their specific needs. We're excited to be here today to announce the Trimble XR10 with HoloLens 2. This is the first HoloLens 2 enabled solution in the world for frontline workers in environments requiring certified hard hat safety or personal protection equipment. We are enabling developers to combine the power of HoloLens with the power of Azure by introducing a suite of mixed reality services. And although these are all cross-platform, HoloLens 2 was designed from the ground up with these services in mind. The first service we are announcing is Spatial Anchors, a fully cross-platform service that supports AR kit, AR core, and of course, HoloLens. Put simply, this will enable the birth of the internet of holograms, a world where holograms can be shared with others across different devices in different form factors, a world where every device becomes a lens into our connected mixed world. The second service we're announcing today is remote rendering, a service that will help solve a key problem facing our community of developers. This service will enable developers to use the power of Azure to directly stream high polygon content with no decimation to HoloLens, allowing HoloLens 2 to display holograms of infinite detail far in excess of what's possible with edge compute or rendering alone. By leveraging the Azure Spatial Anchor service within Vuforia Studio and Vue, we can let Maria seamlessly join in Alex's experience. Once Maria points her iPad at the same location where Alex placed the blower, she can participate in the mixed reality experience. Now that Alex and I can share the same experience, I can create a number of different training scenarios. Now that Alex is using HoloLens 2, he has access to a wide range of hand and eye tracking capabilities that are all available in Vuforia Studio and Vue. We still need to address one key barrier with technology today, closed ecosystems. As leaders in mixed reality, we want to do it differently. As members of the mixed reality community, we want the future to be open. Today, Microsoft is making durable commitments on certain core principles across the openness of our mixed reality ecosystem. Principle number one, we believe in an open App Store model. Now, of course, we'll have Microsoft Store, but developers will have the freedom to create their own stores as first-class citizens in our experience. Principle two, we believe in an open web browsing model. Now, of course, we will have Microsoft Edge, but developers will have the freedom to create web browsers as first-class citizens in our, our experience. And today, I am proud to announce that Firefox will be joining us with a web browsing experience native on HoloLens. Principle number three, we believe in an open API surface area and driver model. And we'll continue to participate and guide open standards like OpenXR so that anyone can innovate within our headsets from the sensors that are being used to the differentiated experiences that are being created. I am honored to invite an industry luminary to tell us about his dreams for a mixed reality ecosystem. Founder and CEO of Epic, Tim Sweeney. Now we're here witnessing the birth of an entirely new generation of technology with augmented reality and HoloLens. I believe the AR is going to be the primary platform of the future for both work and for entertainment. And you know, AR is going to play such an intimate role in our lives that we've got to establish clear ground rules respecting everyone's rights. That means open platforms, open ecosystems, and privacy protections that put the user first. And that is exactly what Microsoft is launching here today. So Epic will fully support Microsoft's HoloLens strategy now and for the long term. So we're starting with the Unreal Engine. 
Poland support is up and running now and coming to all developers in May. And at Epic Games, we also make games. Perhaps you've heard of some of them. Um, and though I'm not here to announce a game or a consumer AR strategy yet, I am here to tell you that in the years to come, Epic will support HoloLens in all of our endeavors. You can pre-order HoloLens 2. Bundles start at just $125 per month. Or pre-order the standalone HoloLens 2 Enterprise Edition. What was $5,000 is now $3,500. The pieces are now in place, and I hope the path is now clear for the third wave of computing. 